Welcome to Real VR Fishing. In this video, I'm going to be going over the steps you need to know to land any fish in the game. Before we get to that, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers, it would be fantastic if you were one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video, or the game, or any tips or tricks you have for real VR fishing. So I recently purchased the sailboat, which is a milestone in the game. It's the most expensive boat that you can buy. And I thought on this occasion, I'd go back to basics of how to pull fish in. This isn't necessarily gonna be about hooking the fish or hooking the right fish. If you're looking for info on how to catch that one specific fish, uh, I'd refer you to the VR Fisherman. He's got a great channel that goes into detail on stuff like that. In this video, I'm going to be going over how you pull the fish in. And that's going to be divided into two basic groups of tactics. Handling the color of the line and handling the position of the rod. I've got the game on expert mode with line color turned on. So that means we're not going to see the UI that comes with easy mode and in my opinion expert mode is the way to play the game. So let's cast away see if we can get something on our hook. I'm using the metal jig, the casting rod A, and the casting reel A but these tactics work with any tackle setup. So the basics of reeling is you want to reel when the line is white. Now when the fish starts to move like that, stop reeling. When the line turns blue, keep reeling. Fish is moving, stop reeling. Line is blue, back to reeling. Nothing happening, line is white, reel. Line is red, stop reeling. Line is green, we're at the boat, this is a tiny fish, we can just pull it in now. So to go over that again, you want to keep the line color in the white. If it gets to the blue, you want to start reeling, even just a little bit. And there'll be caveats when we get to rod placement. But if the fish is running, if there's activity on the fish, you don't want to reel a lot, you just want to reel a little bit to get it out of the blue because it's not going to go into the red if you're not reeling but if you're not reeling it can go into the blue and that means the line is too slack you got to reel a little bit now if the fish is not moving then you can just keep reeling to get it out of the blue and into the white and stop if you see red but if the fish is moving and it goes into the blue you just give it a little burst you don't want to reel when the fish is moving when you're fighting the fish so let's see if we can land something else. Now, previously I've let the line go into the light red a bit, but of late I've just avoided the red altogether in favor of keeping the line white, keeping it out of the red entirely, and out of the blue for the most part. Tiny bit of blue is okay, but like I said, if the fish is not moving, you want to be reeling and definitely get it out of the blue if the fish is uh, stationary. If the fish is moving, you just kind of want to burst it to get it out of the blue. Just a little spurt of reeling. we got something over there, which we'll try to target. The landing fish can be thought of as a flow chart where it starts with the fish running sometimes when you hook it 
and we don't reel on the run. We just let it run. That's considered one of the fish moving scenarios. So if you don't want to reel then, just let it run out. You don't even want to touch the trigger or, or reel at all. Once it's finished running, if the fish is stationary and the line is white, then you want to reel. Unless the line turns red, then you want to stop reeling. Or if the fish goes on a run, then you want to stop reeling as well. And we'll get into rod placement in a little bit to handle the runs. So you want to reel on the blue, you want to reel on the green, and you want to stop reeling on the red, and you want to stop reeling when the fish is moving. Now I'm probably talking too much and not paying attention. We're going to switch baits here to uh, maybe a soft bait. There we go. Now, when the fish gets close to the boat, it's generally not going to be doing runs back and forth, but it's going to be a really small spot where you can reel and not have it go into the red or into the blue. If you picture that easy indicator UI in your mind, you can think of it as a very tight margin. And in those situations, and it gets smaller for the harder fish obviously, the larger fish, for those situations I do kind of a burst kind of stutter reel. Something like this where you're just reeling tiny bit and then stopping and then reeling a tiny bit and then stopping for a split second and if the line goes blue you want to kind of increase your pace but still keep the pauses and if the line's going red you want to decrease your pace but keep the same method and that's only when the fish is almost close enough to be pulled into the boat is you can definitely still lose fish at that point. So when you realize the fish isn't really going to be doing any runs either way, then you want to go into that burst mode to land it in the boat. The location here is not cooperating at the moment. Which brings me to another point about landing fish is probably the number one reason why players lose fish is they're not paying close enough attention. You want to use the same process for the small fish as the large fish if you want to land the fish. If you start getting complacent and not paying attention for the smaller fish because it's easier to land them then when a bigger fish ends up on your line you're basically out of practice. You develop bad habits and even when a fight with a larger fish goes on for a long time, you know this is a relaxing game your mind can start to drift, you kind of start to do things by rote and uh, if you're really intent on landing the fish you gotta be focused on the steps and that is real when the fish isn't moving reel on the blue, reel on the green, and stop reeling on the red. There we've got something. we got a fish on. It's blue, so I'm reeling. It's white. I'm reeling. The fish isn't moving. fish is running, so we stop reeling. There's usually a splash at the end of the run, and you can start reeling just before the splash. It's white now. We're reeling. He's moving. We're not reeling. It's blue, we're reeling. It's white, we're reeling. He's moving, we stop. It's blue, we're reeling. Bit of a run there, kind of an odd direction. And fish is caught. Again, that's an easy one, but the same tactics apply. And when a great white takes that little fish, 
then you're primed, you're in the mode of doing all the right things to land that shark. So let's go on to rod placement. So the general stance for rod placement should be straight up centered on the fish. And if you're not doing something else, that's where you should bring your rod. Now, if the fish runs to the right, you want to counter that run by moving your rod to the left. Not to the left out here, to the left and up. But when that fish has done its run, you want to recenter your rod straight up on the fish. If the fish runs to the left, same thing but inverted. You want to counter it to the right, and then when the fish has done its run, center it back on the fish. If the fish is running away, then you just want to keep your rod straight up. Now you're not reeling at these points. When you're countering runs, either right or left. Oh, we had some red there and I wasn't paying attention. Those would fall into the category of the fish is moving and you don't want to reel while the fish is moving. And once you've done this enough, there'll be little bursts of reeling you'll want to do if the fish is moving, if you see some blue, or if you've got a feel for the length of the runs and you want to reel a little bit at the end of the run, then you can definitely do that. But in general, you're not reeling while the fish is running. So to recap, rod placement, you want to have your default placement, which is straight up centered on the fish. If the fish runs right, you want to move your rod to the left. That's it. If the fish runs left, you want to move your rod to the right. That's it. If the fish is running away from you, or towards you even, you want to keep your rod straight up. Now, by keeping your rod straight up, you're primed for the next rod movement, which is the snap. And that's when the fish jumps. When the fish jumps, you want to flick your rod the opposite direction of the jump. So I've got my rod straight up, centered on the fish, countering to the right, straight up, centered on the fish. We got some green, so we're reeling. Counter to the right, counter to the left, straight up. A little too much blue there, but that's fine. Keep straight up, that was either away or towards. Keep reeling on the white, no movement. Now we're into that kind of burst mode I was talking about. So, just kind of stuttered the trigger for a bit there when the fish was close. Just a California halibut, not too difficult. Keep that one. I don't know why we have the spinner there. I thought we had a Soft bait. I must have flicked it by mistake. So as I was saying, by keeping your rod at the default position, straight center, you're ready for the fish to jump either direction, and just a quick flick to the opposite side will snap the fish. Sometimes fish will snap themselves, depending on the line tension. Now, things to remember about the snap is you do have time. Don't snap on instinct. Make sure you're watching the fish, seeing which direction it's jumping, and just flick to the opposite side. If you're leaving your rod after countering runs, if you're leaving it to one side and the fish jumps towards that side or towards the other side, I can't recall which it is at the moment, <laughs> logically, uh, but you might not have enough room to, to flick properly. 
just because you've extended your arm a certain way and it makes the flick a little, little more awkward. Um, so that's why you always want to bring your rod back to default straight up centered on the fish. And once you get into this system, it becomes very mechanical to land fish. Basically straight up, counter, counter, and then flicks. Now on smaller fish you can miss snaps, you can reel into the red, into the blue, it's not going to matter. Uh, for the larger fish, you need to counter the runs, you need to keep it out of the blue. You can miss a couple snaps, um, but generally it's not going to be that forgiving. And if you do miss the snaps, you're going to find that the fight takes a lot longer. And the longer a fight goes on, um, the higher the chance is that you're going to make a mistake that uh, costs you the fish. That being said, if you're constantly reminding yourself to follow the steps, to counter the runs, to return your rod to the center, to keep the line in the white or in the green, then you'll find that you'll land pretty much everything that's on your hook. Since I started mechanically following these steps, I don't think I've lost a single fish. Now that being said, I'll probably lose one now. Knock on wood. Got lots of wood on the sailboat to knock on. Just letting the bait sink a bit further down. Now the reason this game sometimes seems chaotic if you're uh, inexperienced with it uh, is because there's so much leeway with the smaller easier fish you can do a lot of weird stuff and you'll still land the fish. But the larger fish, you really have to stick to these tactics or the fish is going to get away. And that's how you end up in situations where you've caught a lot of fish, but then when you get a large fish on, it gets away and you're not quite sure why. Well, the reason is you're probably doing the wrong things with the smaller fish. and the larger fish are uh, calling you out on those things. So blue, we're reeling. It's a small fish, but we're gonna do all the same stuff. It's a run, counter to the right, back to the center. Reeling on the white. It's a run straight up, so we just keep centered. It's blue, we're reeling into the white. Counter the run to the left. Small run, but we're doing all the same things. Straight up. Okay, let's see if we can't get something a little, a little larger. A little more fight in it, but. This is not edited, I'm just out here fishing, and I'm not using the fish finder. So, we're stuck with um, whatever we can tempt. Got something low down here.
Again, it's a small fish. We're keeping our rod centered. Reeling on the white. There's a run, kind of straight up, so we just stay straight. Reeling on the white. There's a run to the left, so we go to the right, back to center. There was red, so we stopped reeling. Run to the right, so we go to the left and switch. He went the other way for a little bit. We got green, so we're reeling straight up. California scorpion fish. Okay, I'm just going to switch lures here. Back to the... Do we have the... Yeah. Seems like there's a bug where if you switch lures, your first cast kind of flops. It's always embarrassing. It's not my fault, it's a bug. Again, we got a small fish. Seems the order of the day. So we're reeling on the white, countering the run, back to the center, reeling on the blue. Countering the run, back to the center, reeling on the blue, into the white. Counter the run, and the small runs, back to the center, and green. Again, a small fish, not running. Centered, reeling on the white. I think that was a center run. Reeling on the white, we're countering the run. This one's running a bit further. Reeling on the white, countering the run. Reeling on the blue, reeling on the green. Keep it in the center, reeling on the white. Now we might not get any sharks on the line in this session, but I guarantee you that this method is the same for sharks as these little fish. Just got to be a little more attentive with the sharks. We've got something running, we're not reeling, fingers off. Stop running, so we're reeling, it's white. Red, stop reeling, it's white. Countering the run, countering the run the other way, back to the center when we're reeling. Countering the run, countering the run the other way, back to the center, reeling on the white, that was a snap, we got some green so we're reeling, countering the run, back to the center, red, stop reeling, now we're into the kind of burst mode, just a little burst, it's blue so we're going to increase that and we're into the green. Pacific Cod, a little bigger fish. We don't see any distortions of fish in the water, so we're just gonna cast out. See what we can do here. Now, if you do make a mistake, and the fish runs. If you have the higher level rods and reels, you'll likely get another chance. You'll just have to fight it a bit longer with the same process. Counter the run, back to center, counter the run, back to center, counter the run, back to center, Stop reeling on the red, we got green. Spotted sand bass. So, 
One way you can think about this method is think about the programming involved in the game and what the algorithms are looking for as you're fighting a fish. And so then you can start to treat your movements as kind of an AI that determines if the fish is going one way, your rod should be going the other way. Right? If the fish is running back and forth or whatnot, your rod should be straight up. And you can imagine that the game code is checking for those things. So as long as you satisfy those things, the fish is going to stay hooked. You know, there's no need to, to go wild or, uh, you know, really crank things or, you know, throw your arm around when you're trying to get the snaps. As long as you're doing deliberate movements, they don't have to be all that fast. Just as an aside, some bait will uh, flick pretty easily, and as you're reeling in a lure, you can use the flick to kind of cover more area. So another small fish, it's white, we're reeling straight up, centered, it's running, we stop reeling, it's blue, we're reeling. It's getting close, we may have to stop reeling yet. Hey, we got a rare. Look at you. Garibaldi fish. Happy little fella. Green lips and blue eyes. I wonder if Garibaldi's a person with green lips and blue eyes. something with a little juice. So we're not reeling, we're just letting it run. Rod straight up. Now we're reeling on the white. Stop at the red. Countering the run. Reeling. Straight up. Countering the run. Back to straight up reeling. We got green. Countering the run by straight up. Reeling on the blue. Countering the run. Back to center. We got a snap without even trying there. This is we are coming back to center. Reeling on the white. Stop on the red. Let it run. Reeling on the blue. Countering the run. Back to center. Reeling on the white. Stop on the red. Counter the run. Back to center. Get the snap. Reeling on the green. Counter the run. Back to center, counter the run, back to center. Counter the run, back to center, centered on the fish. Stop at the red, now we go into burst mode. A little more since it went into the blue, and the flick. Nice yellowtail amberjack. Well, there you have it. Those are the steps you need to know and follow to land any fish you get on the hook. Whether it's the tiniest minnow or the largest shark. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers, it would be fantastic if you were one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video, or the game, or any tips or tricks that you have for real VR fishing.
Leave all that good stuff in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.